It's a deeply entrenched legal principle that an employer is liable for the torts of its employee committed within the course and scope of employment. Seems easy enough, right? It is, until you start to consider exactly what constitutes an action taken in the course and scope of employment. In Ira S. Bushy and Sons Incorporated v. United States, the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit considered whether the government was liable for an intentional tort committed by a drunken sailor. The United States government contracted with Bushy, a dry dock owner, to overhaul a Coast Guard ship. The ship was to rest in a floating dry dock during the work, and the contract between Bushy and the government provided that Coast Guard personnel assigned to the ship would have access to the vessel at all times. One night, Coast Guard Seaman Lane, returning to the ship in an apparent drunken stupor, decided to turn three large wheels that controlled the water intake valves to the dry dock. As the water began to fill the dry dock, the ship began to lift and ultimately slid off its blocks and fell against the dry dock wall. Bushy sued the government in federal district court. The court found the government liable and ruled that Bushy was entitled to compensation for damage to the dry dock. The government appealed to the Second Circuit, contending that Lane wasn't acting within the course and scope of his Coast Guard employment when he flooded the dry dock. 